The Unveiling of Alex's Motionless Pulse Charging Systems Alex, a visionary in Russia, has been actively sharing his motionless pulse charging systems for batteries. Among these designs, one stands out for its apparent lack of back EMF effects on the primary coil. Unlike conventional transformers, where an increase in output current draw corresponds to an increase in current flowing through the primary coil, Alex's creation challenges this paradigm. Design and Construction The heart of Alex's innovation lies in the carefully crafted design and construction of the zero-back EMF coils. The chosen framework consists of 12 lengths of 20mm diameter plastic pipes arranged in a unique configuration, four at the top, four at the bottom, and four verticals. Each pipe is filled with ferrite powder, and on each of the four vertical pipes, an output coil is wound. Suspended in the center is the primary coil, measuring 15 mm in diameter. All coils are wound using half a millimeter diameter enameled copper wire, SWG25 or AWG number 24. The four output coils, as depicted in Alex's drawing, are wound as a single layer by filler coil, providing an intriguing twist to the conventional transformer arrangement. Zero back EMF effect. The primary innovation in Alex's design is the apparent absence of back EMF effects on the primary coil. This unique characteristic challenges the traditional understanding of energy transfer in transformers. Unlike standard configurations, any increase in output current draw does not result in a proportional increase in the current flowing through the primary coil. This deviation from conventional transformer operation hints at a new paradigm in energy transfer. The AlexCore Zero Back EMF Coils, as presented by Oliver and influenced by Alex's motionless pulse charging systems, open new possibilities in the realm of energy restoration. The intricate design, utilizing a combination of ferrite powder-filled plastic pipes and bifiller coils, challenges established norms and offers a glimpse into a potential future where energy transfer is more efficient and sustainable. Further research and experimentation will be crucial to unlocking the full potential of this innovative approach to free energy. just uh, show some of my previous radiant chargers since uh, didn't get to see many of them on the other video you just saw that spaghetti wire stuff so as you can see I have several versions some are rather old like this one we're looking at right here this is uh, the second one I built not the original but I can show you that one and then we'll move on to this one. This is the third version. And it works okay. It has a frequency pulse width adjustment and ranging, and you can see that. And we'll show you a little of the circuitry here. And there's the controller we can discharge right there was the original one and we'll get to that this one over here was uh, number four or five I'm not sure and then we'll get over here to this one this one works quite well uh, these all here are good for smaller batteries, up to about 14 amp hours, maybe a little larger. I've charged some uh, car batteries and stuff with them. It takes a little while. They're not really high-powered units, but they work quite well. This one here can be operated off of uh, AC or DC. The other ones, mostly DC. I have the number 5 there was AC. And as you can see, it took a little while to make it but it works okay and uh, if anybody's interested I can show them in operation I might do that and extend the video a little bit and show some of what I've made here 
So not everything is uh, on a breadboard. As you can see, I'd experiment first there and then 